Bamboo, a perennial woody grass, is one of the fastest growing plants on planet Earth. Bamboo, the game changer for Northeast India. Maturing in about four years, Bamboo can produce annual yields of 3 to 6 tons of culms, which in most counts are as good as timber. However, in order to pit bamboo as a viable wood substitute, research efforts in India dated back to mid-50s, which were inhibited by the high production cost at that time. With renewed R&D innovations by scientists of IPIRTI in subsequent period, a factory for producing bamboo mat board, BMB, was established at Angamali, Kerala, in 1985. In the recent time, more industries have come up in northeastern states of Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland producing BMB, bamboo laminates, bamboo scrimbers, etc. Bamboo as a construction material has many favorable technical properties. High strength to weight ratio, high modulus of elasticity, high modulus of rupture, etc. making it ideal for housing in areas prone to natural calamities such as earthquakes and hurricanes. As on today, bamboo has more than 1,200 documented uses. In India, with its huge bamboo resources and a potentially large national market, IPIRTI has spearheaded the innovations in bamboo composites including bamboo mat board, bamboo mat veneer composite, bamboo mat corrugated sheets and bamboo mat ridge cap for roofing. Bamboo mat corrugated sheet is a prized patented product of Ipriti which is being manufactured commercially in Burnihat, Meghalaya. Bamboo lumber is an eco-friendly product which is being manufactured in Agartala, Tripura and it can meet all the housing and furniture requirements of 21st century. The high-end products out of bamboo detailed above are not only eco-friendly but also cost-effective, easy to adopt durable, high in finish and are sustainable in the long run. We are replicating the hardwood specially. You see, we are converting bamboo into timber and our products texture and quality in comparable to our other hardwood products very much acceptable for everybody. Before embarking large-scale industrial productions, the primary processing of bamboo at the harvest site is a must, which meets the immediate monetary requirements of rural community from initial value additions. Primary processing not only includes cross-cutting, knot removal, strip making, sliver making, mat weaving, round stick making, but also involves seasoning and preservative treatments. All these value additions have immense employment generation potential, particularly for rural and tribal women who can virtually weave money in their spare time. Once bamboo mats, strips, round sticks etc. are produced, further industrial processing with the use of resins or glues, temperature pressure treatments, drying, finishing etc. transforms bamboo into high-value timber substitutes such as bamboo mat board, bamboo mat veneer composite, bamboo mat corrugated sheets and bamboo mat ridge cap, bamboo laminates, flooring tiles and furnitures, bamboo blinds, bamboo particle boards, bamboo medium density fiber boards etc. On a commercial scale, these products can cater to the growing markets of India and rest of the globe and have the potential to play a stellar role of game changer for the challenged and backward economy of bamboo rich areas.
especially the northeast region of India. Besides, IPIRTI has the expertise for the use of bamboo composites in prefabricated structures as well as developing low-cost earthquake-resistant bamboo-based IPIRTI Trada houses. We also have given a training on the Ipiti Trada bamboo housing technology uh, where we did a hands-on training for 10 days and completed a bamboo house and in the same village itself. We are now constructing a school using bamboo columns, bamboo trusses, girders and so on. United Kingdom has recognized IPIRTI for better environmental practices by conferring the Green Apple Award in the year 2005. The respective state bamboo missions along with forest departments are also promoting utilization of bamboo for high-end industrial and handicraft items. These efforts not only add to ecological balance but also help in economic and social sustainability. Let us understand it better through hands-on experience of industrialists, artisans engaged in production of bamboo-based products. Welcome to Epidome Bamboo Wood. This is first of its kind facility here in India and we are the first successful entrepreneur in the bamboo sector because bamboo is a plant that is called green gold. There is no land innovation, there is no pesticide, herbicide or chemicals that is used in bamboo. Ipriti is doing a lot towards bamboo to grow it and getting to the highest level possible. In particularly our case, Ipriti have come up hand in hand in resolving our practical problems. They are the only institution that is doing the testings of bamboo wood and other products. And taking bamboo to the next level, they have the courage, they have the willingness, they are directors, they are scientists, they are working day and night towards achieving this goal and putting forward bamboo as a substitute of hardwood. I am a dosboss of the Babasar Kat Korea, Ekta Baserdam, Aksha Bistagura, Ami Bestasabare, Borobasar Dam de Sograse, with a Zati, a Jawase, with a Desograse, Ami Uram Kat Korami, a Puril Tosolasiro. We were initially a timber based business here in Megalia, and we started our business here since 1972. In the year of 2000, we had diversified and started a new venture in the bamboo mat corrugation technology and also the bamboo particle technology. The bamboo mat corrugation sheet technology is this product right here, which is the bamboo mat corrugation sheet and this is the bamboo mat board. This technology is provided to us by Ipriti Bangalore. The technology of this product, which is right here, obviously being very new, had to also be refined over the years. And today, I can, we can honestly say that this technology is marketable and also has been accepted by various government bodies in their projects and also by the private sector in India and even abroad as well. The state of Tripura has uh, two-thirds of area is under geographical area under forest and one-third of the forest area is under bamboos. Tripura was the one of the first states in the country to have a separate bamboo forest policy and to form a Tripura bamboo mission. The bamboo has so many uses, but the Bamboo Mission had identified around five subsectors to increase the livelihood of poor artisans in the state of Tripura. The subsectors are plantation, agrobatistics, sticks, handicrafts, furniture, and industrial products. Kerala State Bamboo Corporation is a public sector undertaking owned by the government of Kerala. So the corporation was incorporated in 1971 with an objective of rehabilitating traditional reed cutters and mat weavers. And uh, apart from that, we promote bamboo as an alternative wood and as an industrial product. We procure mat from the traditional uh, women folk and the weavers and we convert it as bamboo ply. Bamboo ply is an ISO certified marine grade plywood. We designed this product with the help of Imbriti in 1985. 
in spite of huge bamboo resources and largest bamboo area of 11.4 million hectares domestic production in india is only 4.5 billion us dollars which is far behind that of china's domestic market of 30 billion us dollars with only 6 million hectares of bamboo area Bamboo processing technologies developed by IPIRTI for high-end products have the potential to narrow down this gap and to contribute significantly towards economic growth, employment generation and rehabilitation of the enormous areas of degraded land. IPRT has all the technology to unleash the full potential of bamboo which can become a game changer for the backward and rural economies of northeastern part and other parts of the country. The success stories of Kerala and northeastern region are mainly due to incessant efforts of scientists of IPIRTI which are worth emulating in other parts of the country.